light heavyweight action. Damar Singleton, Sullivan Barrera. Many things in common, yet they're so different. Barrera with tons more experience as an amateur fighting in Cuban. And it's Singleton coming out of Toledo, Ohio. Both guys are knockout specialists. It's scheduled for six rounds. They haven't made it that far yet. It'll be interesting to see as we look, guys, at our tail of the tape. Yeah, we got both guys here. Demar Singleton, 22. Sullivan, a little older, 29. He's got all that amateur experience. Very, very tall, 6'2", compared to 5'11". Both guys coming in about the same height. The weight uh, reached 78 inches for Singleton, 73 for Barrera. Uh, Singleton looks to have a little bit of a matchup, a little bit of an edge there, and uh, they'll see if he can utilize that. Interesting, isn't it? Barrera is three inches taller, and uh, Singleton's got a five-inch advantage on the reach. Very unusual. He definitely has one line on <laughs> Let's get ready to officially meet the fighters and go back to ring announcer Joe Antonacci for these light heavyweights. Boxing fans, here we go. Main events, Pelts Boxing in association with Arena Box Promotions presents six rounds of action in the light heavyweight division. Our judges, Dewey La Rosa, Joe Pasquale, Alan Rubenstein, and our referee, Blair Talmadge. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He comes to us tonight, originally from Guantanamo, Cuba, now living and fighting out of Miami, Florida. He weighed in at 174 and one half pounds. Black trunks, white trim. Professional record, a perfect eight victories, no defeats. Six of those wins coming by way of NECA. Please welcome Sullivan Barreja. Tonight from Toledo, Ohio. He weighed in at 176 and one half pounds. Black trunks, white trim. Professional record also a perfect one. Seven victories, no defeats. Three wins coming by knockout. Please welcome dangerous Damar Singleton. Our referee. Blair Talmadge has our fighters' final instructions. We give you instructions and address when you have any questions. I want you to be my command at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Test gloves are coming at the bell. Six rounds, light heavyweights. Six knockouts. Three of those have come in the first round, all six inside of two rounds. Singleton, meanwhile, has three knockouts, two of those in the first round, all three within two rounds. As we take a look at the rules, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the ref can stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and the fight official after four rounds. Here we go, start of this one, it's scheduled for six. Neither guy's been that far in his young career yet. Barrera, with more experience, as you would expect from a Cuban boxer coming up, he has about three to one amateur fights, as opposed to a single time. The Cubans, they don't come from the He's had a long cut in his career, about 300 fights, and uh, I think he's told us about 286 wins out of those 300. So he does have experience, and uh, he told me that he's very aggressive for, for most Cubans in Congress, but he told me he's aggressive, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. Barrera and Singleton, collectively, they've been fighting pro less than five years. Singleton, though, just 22 years old, seven years younger. And also, pretty impressive credentials. He said he had about 135 amateur fights. Not sure. He started boxing when he was 12, but he fought the likes of Chad Dawson, Dante Moore. He's had some interesting amateur matchups. Singleton does have some decent experience. He doesn't have quite the experience that Solomon Barrera has, but he has, uh, you know, definitely uh, had some experience as an amateur. Now, the key is if you can utilize that in, that, in this first round and uh, take advantage of some of uh, Barrera's weaknesses. told me yesterday in the fighter meetings that Barrera is very uh, slow-footed, uh, not a typical Cuban fighter. He doesn't move as well, but he is heavy-handed, so things to look out for. They said watch for those knockouts, and obviously his record speaks for that. Six knockouts within the first two rounds in his eight victories. Barrera flicks out the jab. Singleton 
Jackson trying to time that jab with an overhand right. Smart idea. Didn't quite connect, but at least he's thinking of the right things.